All right, hey guys, welcome to Tabletop Baseball Plus. I'm getting ready for another project, and this is going to be a Detroit Tigers only tournament using the Atba set. But there's going to be a little twist to it. I like to have some kind of twist, just make the make things uh, a little different, interesting. Um, so these are the teams in the tournament, and these are the rankings out here. One number one is 2011. They had the best winning percentage. They were 95-67. The number 12 team is the 89th squad. They were 59 and 103. So there's 1 through 12. And what's going to happen is, is they're going to each get to draft one player from the Detroit Tigers Bats all-time stars team. The Bats set from ABBA. So, um, the first up, first team up is the 89 squad. I'm going to do a little video for each team uh, showing their draft. And these are the players from the Bats team by position. I've got them sorted out by position. Now, if you look at the starters, now it has to be a position player for position player. It cannot be um, no I'm going to use a DH, but you can't draft a, a DH. You can't just draft a guy and say he's going to DH. Uh, you have to take out a position for whatever position you draft. So I'm looking at their starters. This is not their batting order, but these are the starters. The nine starters. Uh, Gary Ward's actually the DH. Um, so... He is pretty much non-negotiable. Um, Rick Shu is just awful. The guy at 214 had a under 300 on base percentage. And their backup was the same. I mean, their backup third baseman was um, Doug Strange. I believe he hit 214 also. So third base is a real bad spot for them. Plus they're pitching. It's going to be a three-man rotation for each team. This is going to be the rotation right here. So not very good. You got C, D, D. Tanana's okay, but, you know, that third starter is going to be trouble. And the relievers are not good either. All D's, well, two D's, two C's. So they could tr they could pick pick a pitcher, but you know, pitcher is going to help you. Is only going to help you one game. Um, it's either going to be a pitcher, or it's going to be George Kell. Is kind of what I've decided here. Third baseman, Rick Shu for George Kell. Or one of the pitchers for probably Denny McLean, maybe. You got Denny McLean up here. He's off camera, but let me slide that down a little bit. No need for that to be up there. Um, Denny McLean's AC. You got Hillers in AC. They both have Z's. I like that. So do you want to take George Kell for Rick Shu, or do you want to take probably one of these two guys for Gibson and be your starter, your number one starter? Because they're going to have to play. It's a 12-team tournament, so there's going to be quote-unquote play-in games, if you will. So... Um, they will have to go through their rotation. It's a tough decision. It's really tough. Um, maybe I'll maybe I'll go pitching. I hope they can squeak out a run here or there. Because Tanana, you know, he's not bad. He's a C, but he does have a Z. 
a Y and a Z. Let's bring this down a little more. Oops, sorry. But yeah, my oh, my picture. No wonder my picture is blocking the cards there. Man, so I'm thinking now. I'm kind of I'm kind of thinking. Let's trade. Let's take out Gibson. Let's go Denny McLean just because. I like Denny McLean. So that is going to be the rotation, man. It's going to be Dennis McLean, Tanana, then John Morris. And that will be the 89 Detroit Tigers. So. No position players were taken by the 89 squad. They took a pitcher. And I'll come back with an in the number 11 ranked seeded team, the 2018 squad. Let's we're on to the 2018 Detroit squad. It's their turn to pick. And looking at their starters, uh, Jacoby Jones is the one that sticks out to me. Here are the starters. Not their batting order, just the starters. Jacoby Jones, he hit 207 from Chickasha. That's how you say that. Chickasha, Oklahoma. Um, I always notice when they're from Oklahoma. I just, sorry, i got to point that out. But um, he's the one. He's the outfielder. Would be the one that they would trade. Now their starting rotation I'm going to go with is this, Matt Boyd, Zimmerman, and Fulmer. So CCD. So again, pitching not that great. Um, I think I'm, I think we're going to go with Jacoby Jones. We're going to we're going to swap him out. And it's going to be, you guessed it, it's going to be Ty Cobb. But, you know what, man, I just keep going back to the pitching. If you trade out a, you know, Fulmer for like Hiller, then you got ACC, all of a sudden that looks a lot better. Tough, it's tough, 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 tough decision. But do you want to leave Ty Cobb out there for one of the really good teams, or not good, but better teams? Um, you know, you can't keep playing if you don't win that first game, though. You gotta win that first game. Harry Heilman, 403. Crawford, 378. That's about how they would go. Um, now I'm kind of back and forth. What do you guys think? Um, Let's I was gonna say at first no pitching, but no we couldn't trade out any pitchers, but let's go John Hiller for Fulmer. Jacoby, you get to play after all. Fulmer is out. Hiller is now the number one starter for the 2018 squad. The next one will be the 1998 squad. 
They were 65 and 97. And then we'll get the next pick. We are on to the 20 or 1998 season. And again, we're kind of in that pitching situation. This is their going to be their rotation, CCD. Um, so, not very good. Do you go with pitching? Do you go with dropping a position player? Randa, these are the two worst hitters on the 98 squad. It's Joe, or, uh, Joe Randa, Brian Hunter, both 254 batting average. Uh, Randa has a better on base, as you can see. Thinking about dropping Brian Hunter and picking up Ty Cobb. Just kind of mix things up a little bit. I think that's what we're going to do. They're going to take Ty Cobb and drop Brian Hunter out of the lineup. So that is going to be, that's pretty quick and simple there for the 98 squad. Uh, pitching, still a couple of A guys, three A, three A pitchers, four, five, sorry, five A starters left. But they're going with the position player. Let's see what happens. So it's the 98 squad taking Ty Cobb. Next up on the docket is going to be the nine seated 54 Tigers. We are on to the 1954 Detroit Tigers team. And this is going to be their pitching rotation. Gromick, Garver, Zuvernick. So BBC, not too bad. I think they'll skip the pitching. So if we look at the hitting, these are the starters. You got Bowling, 236. He might be the worst one. I think he is. Second baseman Frank Bowling at 236. Frank House, 250. So second base looks like a trouble spot. Let's check out the bats, second baseman. It's Geringer and Whitaker, Lou Whitaker. Geringer's 354, Lou Whitaker 320. Much better, big improvement. Or catcher spot was the other trouble spot, but I think they'll live with 250. Um, let's see. I think it's going to be Geringer. Sorry, Lou. That's another thing is if we get to a team where there's a guy on that team that's also on the bats team, you can't trade that guy for the same guy. You can't dry, trade out the same man for the same man. Like Lou Whitaker can't go out for Lou Whitaker of 1983. So it's going to be Frank Bowling is going to be out for the 54 squad, and it's going to be Charlie Geringer in his place. And that'll do it for the 1954 squad. The next up, the 1976 team. They were 74 and 87 with a 460 winning percentage. 76 team. This is going to be their pitching rotation. I think we've got it figured out. It's going to be Fidrich, Roberts, Rural. So ACC, not too bad. All three of Z's also. Always a plus. We'll keep that. Uh, the batting, as far as the position players, Pedro Garcia. Let me look. He hit 218, I believe. Or no, sorry, 198. 198 is what he hit. Jason Thompson hit 218. Then you've got like Tom Verizer, I think, is next. And he was at 234. 
234. So I think we're looking at one of these two guys. The only second baseman is Lou Whitaker. He did hit 320. Or you could just live with him and then look at first base. Because there's pretty hefty numbers there probably. Well, not as good as I thought. Figured first base would be pretty tough. You got Norm Cash, 361, 41 home runs. See Jason Thompson hit 218 and 17 home runs. He actually led the team in home runs with 17. <laughs> so Norm Cash would be a big, big improvement there. Would give him some kind of a, a pop there. I think that's what they're going to do. They're going to, we're going to drop Jason Thompson out of the lineup. We're going to live with Garcia, and we're going to bring in Norm Cash for the '76 Detroit Tigers. So yeah, Garcia he'll he'll bat last, obviously. Willie Horton's the DH. So Norm Cash into the lineup for the 76 squad. And that'll do it for this one. The next up is the number seven seed, the 1990 Detroit Tigers, 79 and 83, 488 winning percentage. We're on to the number seven seed, the 1990 Detroit Tigers, 79 and 83. And their pitching staff for a team that almost went 500 is not very good. Top three guys would be Morris, Tanana, and Petrie. CDD. So not a good pitching staff, but... And the ironic thing here is the worst hitter on the team batting average as far as the, among starters is Lou Whitaker. <laughs> but... Like I said, we can't trade out Lou Whitaker for Lou Whitaker. That's one of my little rules that I made up. So, uh, the next worst um, Lloyd Mosby's 248. And Bergman is DH. So, Mosby, 248. You got Harry Heilman. They may do that. Harry Heilman for Lloyd Mosby. Lose a little bit on defense and our base running, actually. Slow runner. But defense, they're, about the, they're the same. But offensively, it's no, no contest. I mean... Harry Heilman is much better. 400 hitters. So I think that's what's going to happen here. Lloyd Mosby is going to be out. And Heilman will be in the lineup. This is not their batting order. This is just starters. So that's what they're going to do. They'll keep the this three-man rotation of Morris, Tanana, Petrie. And I hope the offense can carry the road, carry the load. So next one is, let's see, number six. The 1957 Tigers, 78 and 76. Uh, the first team we have that's over 500. 1957 Detroit Tigers turn. Uh, their pitching staff looks pretty good. Let me bring up my internet there. Um, Jim Bunning, Foytak, and Heft. Billy Heft. So ABB. Looks pretty good. They'll keep that. Now as far as their starters go, uh, Bill Tuttle was the weakest hitter with a 251 batting average. So right off the get-go, you're looking at outfield. You can't, 
you know, Al Kaline's already on the team, so they can't take can't, can't take Al Kaline. He's already on the team. But you've got Sam Crawford and you got Maglio Ordonez. You got 378 here. You got 363 here. Versus 251 for Bill Tuttle. Um, as far as any other players, possibility, you got catcher Frank House at 259. I don't know if, you know, you got Bassler at catcher. If they could trade him for him, he's 346. Bowling at second, you could get Lou Whitaker. He's the only one left at second. Bertoa. He is going to be the DH. So I think we're looking at Tuttle. We're looking at Bill Tuttle. We're going to swap him out for it's one of these two. Sam Crawford, 37 stolen bases. I like that. You got Mags with 28 home runs. But they've got, they, yeah, they got a little bit of power here. K line had 23. Maxwell had 24. So they got some power. Let's go with Crawford, though. Sam Crawford is going to come in, and Bill Tuttle will be out. Next up in the lineup is going to be the five seed, the 1982 Tigers, 83-79, and a 5-12 winning percentage. Time for the 82 Tigers. They are on the clock. Let's take a look at their pitching staff real quickly first. Petrie, Morris, Wilcox, BCC. Not the greatest ratings in the world. I think, but I think they're going to stick with it. Uh, their their lineup, weakest hitter in the lineup is. This is not the batting order again. This is just the starters. Tom Brookins. He hit around two thirty one. I want to say. Let me bring it up. Um, what was it? Yeah, 231 for Tom Brookins. So third base is where he plays. So you get a third base on the bats team. You've got George, George Kell or Travis Fryman. I don't think it's much of a decision there. Looks like George Kell to me. We'll be going to the, I always forget, it's 82 Tigers. So Tom Brookins will sit out, and George Kell will come in. This nice, clean, white card. And that will do it for the 82 Tigers, nice and quick and easy. Next up's the 85 Tigers, the four seed. This time for the 85 Tigers, they're on the clock. And let's take a look at their pitching rotation. It's Morris, Petrie, Terrell, BBC. Um, so, and the worst hitter in the, as far as the starters, is again, Tom Brookins. And he's the third baseman. They don't, I don't know that they want Travis Fryman, though. Uh, next. They may just look for the best available. You know, Daryl Evans was down there around 240. Uh, that's first base. So you got Hank Greenberg. Mm. Getting slim pickings. They could go pitcher. I'd really make him stout. 
So let's kind of look here. What do we have? What do we have? We got the shortstop. We got Kuhn, 353. Trammell's 343. Although we can't take Trammell. He's already on the team. Maglio Ordonez, 363. It's really probably Greenberg, Kuhn, or Ordonez. Ordonez had a heck of a year, 363. Or do we go pitching? I think they are going to go pitching. We're going to go with Hal Newhouser. And Charles Terrell will be out of the lineup. So their rotation will now be this. Newhouser, Jack Morris, Dan Petrie. Looks pretty good. And they'll live with what they have in their lineup. All right, so next up on the docket is the 78 squad, which is the number three seed. They were 86 and 76, 531 winning percentage. Looking at this is the rotation I've come up with is Rosma, Billingham, Wilcox, BCC. Their lineup... Their starters, as far as hitting, is not too bad. Worst hitter is Milt May at 250. So it would be catcher, which would be Johnny Bassler. Or you got Lance Parrish or uh, Bill Freehand. Bassler. Obviously, the number one of those three. Or you can go pitching, which they may do that. I may move Wilcox to two, Billingham three. Got the Y there. Um, I think they are going to go pitching. I'm going to go with Mickey Lolich. And Jack Billingham is going to be out of the rotation. So now it looks like this. ABC. For the 78 squad. So two more to go. All right, on to the number two seed, the 86 Tigers. 87-75, winning percentage. Pretty stout lineup as far as power goes. Every single guy in their starting lineup had double figures and home runs except for one. That was Larry Herndon. The worst average was Daryl Evans. So third base or first base for him. But if you really wanted to make you know make it really powered loaded lineup, you could take Herndon out, put Hank Greenberg in, maybe we'll see. No Hank yeah. Well, he's kind of he's more of a first baseman. He did play some outfield. He does have a one there. He does have a rating in outfield. Or you could take Maglio Ordonez. Twenty-eight home runs compared to Herndon's eight. And Herndon only hit two forty seven. Evans was two forty one. Or you can go pitching. Their pitching rotation is this Morris, Tanana, Terrell. 
It's going to be those three. I'm kind of thinking it might be neat to have every single guy in the lineup. And let's see. Only three guys didn't hit 20 or more home runs. Herndon, Chet Lemon had 12, and Johnny Grubb, the DH, had 13. Everybody else, six of the nine hitters. Yeah, six of the nine hitters had over 20, 20 or more home runs. So if we take Herndon out, that's an outfielder. Willie Horton had 36. Ordonez had 28, and he also hit 363. Willie Horton hit 285. You know, not bad. K-Line had 27, hit 340. Hmm. Let's go with Maglio Ordonez. I just like his average, 363. We're going to take him and we're going to drop Herndon for the 1986 squad. So one team to go, and that is the number one seed, the 2011 Detroit Tigers. They were 95 and 67. All right, 2011 pitching rotation. Verlander, Fister. Then do you go Porcello or Scherzer? Porcello's not going to walk as many. Scherzer doesn't have a Z. You know, if you want the strikeouts, which. Scherzer's going to get the strikeouts, but Porcel is still going to get the outs. Um, I think it's going to be Porcello unless we drop him for a, another pitcher, which is possible. Among the starters, the worst hitter is Austin Jackson, 249. Um, so I'm looking at outfield again. It's gonna be probably Al K line. If you want some pop, you know, he's got 27 home runs. Veach, a little better average, not much, but, and, but he only hit three home runs. Willie Horton, pretty significant drop in average, but. Uh, more home runs. Let's see, their home runs. Cabrera hit 30. Mm, Peralta, 21. So Austin Jackson, how many did he hit? He hit 10. Or do they want to go pitcher and then have an AB or AAB pitching staff? And drop Porcello. Well, you could pick up um, Dizzy Trout. None of them have a Z on them, but they are A pitchers. They're all the same. A Y A Y A Y. Trout has a better is a better fielder. They may go pitching. I think they are. They're gonna go. Let's go with.
Let's go with Trout. Dizzy Trout. Verlander. Trout. Fister. So very tough three-man rotation there for the number one seed. And they're going to rely on that pitching to try to win this tournament. So that is going to wrap up the draft. The next thing to do will be to start the tournament, and that's going to be the 8-9 seed will play first. So the 76 squad, I should have wrote the players down out here, who they got just because, but it's going to be 76 versus 54. The 8-9 matchup will be the first matchup in this Detroit Tigers tournament. So hopefully you join me for that. Take care. Until then, take care. God bless.